Hi, my name is Mackenzie Mills, and I'm an associate product manager here at Blue Marble Geographics. Today, I'll be answering the questions, how can I optimize a flattened site plan uh, with some tool improvements in Global Mapper version 25? So to start out in this workspace, I have some data loaded. I have some terrain data that will be the basis of some of this terrain analysis. Um, to create some new features. And I have a rectangle here that is the site plan that I'm looking to flatten. Exploring this area with the path profile tool, we can see that currently this rectangle is on a bit of a slope. Um, so it likely has a better spot that will reduce the cut and fill volumes needed to flatten this area um, somewhere nearby. So the existing tool in Global Mapper here is uh, found in the digitizer menu under advanced feature creation options. And it relies again on a loaded terrain layer and a selected vector polygon, both of which I have in this workspace. Now the first, the top half of this dialogue um, are existing settings that have been in previous versions of Global Mapper. Um, we can choose to flatten the height of the selected area to a specified manually entered value, um, equalize the cut and fill volume uh, values and adjust the cut and fill slopes for the area, creating this new terrain patch. The new options available in version 25 of Global Mapper come towards the bottom of this dialog, towards site plan optimization. This is a checkbox that can be enabled to move this rectangular feature that I have selected um, around within a certain area in order to optimize the placement of the pad site to minimize the cut and fill volumes of the earthworks needed to actually flatten this area. So we're going to be using the same geometry, but maybe shifting the position of the flattened site plan a little bit. Underneath the site plan optimization options, there are two options here. One is to look for an optimized site placement within a certain radius of our existing feature. And the other is to use the layer bounds of an additional polygon. Um, for this workflow, since I have this flattened lake area right nearby, I'm going to use the um, an, an additional polygon and a separate layer in order to try and look for an optimized site placement um, within that area. I've got this dashed black outline for the property boundary. I will select that layer and choose to create this flattened site plan. Global Mapper is then going to work through the analysis, trying different locations for this rectangular shape that I have within my property boundary in order to find the best or optimized site placement for this flattened area. When that analysis is complete, Global Mapper will zoom to our optimized site placement here, show us a volume calculation report showing our cut and fill volumes. And we can see this reflected in the 2D and 3D views that I have on screen. So we have our original selected polygon uh, selected still in the 3D view here. I can turn that off and we can explore our optimized site placement. We have a polygon representing that flattened area. Turning that off, we have a small patch of terrain that has been generated um, to flatten our rectangular area and then blend into the surrounding terrain. Um, this is subtle in the 2D and 3D views, but can be further explored in the path profile here, seeing that we have a nice flat site for maybe a building to be placed. Um, and this is created as an additional terrain layer in Global Mapper. Now to blend the existing surrounding terrain with this new patch of terrain, of course, you can just export those two layers to the same local file um, to load into another workspace or use later for further analysis. If you'd like more information on Global Mapper version 25, this tool and other tools available, visit our website, bluemarblegeo.com. And if you have any other questions, please reach out to our technical support team at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com.